वंदे गुरुपद द्वंद भक्तबिंद समन्वितम श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सामयुक्त बिंद वन मनोहर वाचा कल्पतरुश्च कृपा सिंधु बेवच पतितान पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुकोति वाचा लंग पंगु लंग हति गिरी यत्तमहंग वंदे परमानंदमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशवश्च स्नभक्तिपदेवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीयपत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदरुण ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भीतात्म पुनतपालभवादीपूत वंदे महापुरष ते चरुणारिंद यत्दपल्लवनकंदमनीछटा विस्फुरीजीतकोवधूषुदर्शी पूर्णागरसागर सारूर्ति साराधिकामयी कदा कृपा करीकृष्णचैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्रीअद्वैतगदाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादी गौर भक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे अजानुलंबितुज कनकाबदात संकर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्षशाबरो दिजबरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत्प्रिय करो करुणाभतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदी तो दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दी नीत भावान्ूपेन सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित वाम भाग नारायणो प्रिय मनंग मदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागी सजुष्व बदने लक्ष्मीजस्वक्षसी जस्ते हृदय संबीत निशिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे गौरांगैक गतिर्भयाश्रितमती श्री गौरधाम स्थिति सशाश्वैक विरकुशंग विरती 
दुष्टो व्यथा निष्कृति श्रीरूपय करती सनातन नति श्री जीवते जो स्तुति श्री सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड देर इज अर्सिटी देर इज अमिन अफ हरिकाथा ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड एट प्रेजेंट देर इज अर्सिटी अफ हरि हरिकाथा देर इज देर इज अ You know, feminine of Hari Katha all over the world. Why Hari Katha is not there? Actual Hari Katha, why not there? Why actual Hari Katha is not there? Pope had given answer. Actually, we like to insult pure Guru Vishnu. We like to make politics with them. We like to disobey them. That's why they automatically keeping silence, going to keep silence. That's why there is a scarcity of Hari Katha. Otherwise, there should be a flood of Hari Katha. Because we can remember at the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there was a flood of prema. There was a flood of prema. चैतन्य चंद्र प्रकटे जो दीन दीन एव स प्रसारित तो प्रेम पीयूष रस सागरे प्रसारित तो प्रेम पीयूष रस सागरे जो दीन दीन एव स वैन चैतन्य महापू कामिंग हि है विच इज रेयर इम्पॉसिबल इम्पॉसिबल पोबा स्पीकिंग इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग In the history of human society, even in dream, nobody could realize, nobody could expect that this kind of kipa can come. Impossible. Even in the history of human being, even in the history of human being, nobody could, you know, expect. Nobody could, even in dream, they couldn't realize this kind of kipa is possible to come. in the destiny of human being but this is coming prashari to prem piyush ras sagare jo din din evasha prashari to mane when the flood of prema inundated all world when the prema kishta prema all inundated the whole world whereas i am deprived what can be the case what can be the reason what can be the reason prashari to prem piyush ras sagare jo din din evasha whole world is inundated by prema krishna prema but whereas only i am deprived why this prema not going to touch me this prema not going to touch me why what can be the reason the reason is that i am kapat i have done so many aparad i have done so many aparad i am kapat that's why this prema not going to touch me prema going to avoid me many time prabhupad used to say maharaj many time prabhupad used to say even if one powerful sadhu who is full of acharan etiquette like fire fire like example if this kind of sadhu even this kind of sadhu if speaking hari katha if there is some aparadhi who has done so many aparad this kind of fire of hari katha cannot touch his heart cannot change due to aparad you can find this document that even after taking so much hari naam the harinam i am taking so much harinam but that harinam not going to touch my heart 
What the reason? It is written in Chaitanya Chaitamito. Tate Jani Aparad Ache Prachur. Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami writing, Why Harinam not, why Harinam Prabhu not going to touch my heart? Where Harinam Prabhu not going to melt my heart? Why cannot touch my heart? Because there is offense, big, big aparad. Big aparad. That's why Harinam Prabhu cannot touch me. Touch my heart. So, prasari to prema pujusa rasa sagare yo dino dino evasha. When flood of prema inundated the whole world, whereas that prema is not going to touch me, I am very bad luck. Because I have done so many aparad. Offense unto the lotus speed of Guru Vaishnava, Harinam, Dham, all I have done so many opera. That's why I am deprived of this kind of inevitable facility. E easily it could touch me. That's why Prabhupada told if temple is there, so many temples, how many temples you can count? I cannot count. You can count, make a statistics, how many temples are there and in what temple, what going on. That is my request to you. I am not sitting to criticize anybody. I am going to represent my Guru Bhargava. My speaking Harikatha, my speaking Harikatha is not an instrument to collect name, fame, position, nothing. My speaking Harikatha is the topmost servitorship of my Guru Padma. I am the number one servant, you know, of Guru Padma. I like to, at least I like to get this kind of luck. Because it is the duty of dog to protect the interest of master. Bhakti Thakur identified this way. Bhakti Minu Thakur in Kirtan, Tumi to Thakur, Tomar Kukur, Boliya Jano Humore. Tumito Thakur, you are my master, I am your dog, it is my duty to protect your interest. If any negative force coming to attack you, it is my duty to stop him there outside the gate. Even I cannot allow him to get entry, get entry into the gate. In the Kirtan Bhakti Muntagu writing, in the Kirtan Bhakti Muntagu writing, this way Kirtan doing, Tumi to Takur, Tomar, Kukur, Boliya, Janahomori. So if I think I am the dog of my Guru Bhargava, surely it is my duty to bark, to protect the interest of Guru Bhargava. You cannot say, I am going to criticize anybody. I have no interest to criticize. I have no time to criticize anybody. I have no time. I am disconnected from this material world. Totally. I have no connection with anybody. Only with Guru Varga I like to keep connection. So, there can be countless temple, but temple is not idealism. Follow idea. Chaitanya Mahat is not a construction of cement and brick. Chaitanya Mahat is not a construction of cement and brick and sand. Chaitanya Mahat means the idealism of Prabhupada. Chaitanya Mahat means the idealism of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahat means the idealism of Bhakti Thakur. If you think you are residing in Chaitanya Mahat, I can prove that you are not residing in Chaitanya Mahat. If you like to prove forcefully that you are saying in Chaitanya Mahat, I can prove mathematically, like mathematics. Like mathematics, I can prove you are not in Chaitanya Mahat. Your material body is there in Chaitanya Mahat. It is matter. Your material body is staying. To stay in, to stay in Chaitanya Mahat means to stay with the idealism of Chaitanya Mahat. To, to stay with Prabhupada, to stay with Prabhupada means to stay with the idealism of Prabhupada. Otherwise, I cannot say. Otherwise, I cannot say. I have no right to say I am the disciple of Prabhupada. I am the, you know, my Prabhupada is my Param Guru Dev. I have no right to speak. So Chaitanya Mahat means idealism. Follow? Chaitanya Mahat means idealism. Gauriya Mahat means idealism. Of Gauranga Mahapu, I mean the idealism of Prabhupada. If we can maintain that kind of idealism, 
then it is possible for you to go for preaching. Then you can dedicate your life for the Sankirtan and Jagya established by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Siva Sangha. If your life is not dedicated for the cause of Sankirtan and Jagya, if you are not ready to sacrifice your life totally, if you are not ready to sacrifice your life for the cause of Sankirtan and Jagya enlightened by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Siva Sangha, then you have no right to identify yourself as a Gaudiya devotee. Gauriyam or devotee, you cannot identify. So you must be ready to sacrifice your life. People can attack me, so I should not speak this way. People can attack me, they cannot like me, so, so I should not speak this way. You are not sadhu. Then you are not sadhu. Papa speaking, people cannot like me, that's why I can suppress the absolute truth. Then you are not sadhu. You can suppress all the absolute truth simply because you are going to lose your popularity. Prabhupada many times used to say, to seek the interest of common people, to seek the interest of Bhagavan, and to seek the satisfaction of public is not the same, not the same, totally opposite. People cannot speak absolute truth until and unless their life is totally dedicated for the cause of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sankirtan Jagra. They have no right. Many times Baba told, if you are not 100% inclined under the lotus feet of Gurudev, if you are not inclined under the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 100%, then you cannot speak about that absolute truth. If you, if you at all try to speak about that absolute truth, in between, in the middle, you can stop, you can fear. You can fear. Somebody, somehow, Maya Devi can stop your tongue. You can, you know, you can feel some stammering. You cannot speak. That's why many times Baba told, until and unless we are 100% inclined at the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we have no right to speak about that absolute truth. If I am not established, if I am not established, if I am not established in the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, if I myself not standing in the platform of that absolute truth, then I have no right to speak about that absolute truth. Absolute truth I cannot speak. It at all forcefully I speak, it is called cheating of public. If at all forcefully I to speak some quotation of Prabhupada without acharan. At all, if I son memorize some quotation of Prabhupada, then going to speak to prove that I am in line of Prabhupada, but you cannot do. You cannot do. Not possible. Then you are going to cheat public. Or at all, if you like to speak half truth, you are going to speak Harikatha. Okay, I can speak uh, about what Prabhupada told Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Half truth I can speak. Halfway. Then you are going to put yourself in a more and more dangerous situation. Because half-truth is not a real truth. Even more dangerous than full lie. Half-truth, if I like to speak, if I like to represent my Guru Varga, I like to speak the half-truth, I'm going to you know, hide half portion of the truth, then I am guilty. I'm going to uh, 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 commit offense under the Lotus Feet of Guru Varga. You have no right to change even dot, full stop, hyphen, no right, no right. When you are going to represent Prabhupada, you will have to speak the same what Prabhupada told. You have no right to change even dot, full stop, comma, you have no right. No right. You have no right to change anything. So I was speaking about all over the world, you can discover there is thousands of temples. How many temples? I have no account of that. I don't know. But it is my request, you, you try to check up what is happening there. You try to speak. Don't speak anything. Don't, try to, don't fight with them. You go and watch what is happening there. That's why Pope are told, people can make different kind of, all countless temple. Pope used to say, 
you can make temple, I can make temple, if I have money power. But many times, time, Prabhupada used to say, out of, your, out of your money power, you cannot make a temple. Out of your manpower and money power, you can never make a temple. Because temple means idealism, I already told. By making a temple, what you want to prove? You have your money power, I know. You can make a, a, so many temples. But what is your goal? What do you want to prove? By, the, by your money power, you cannot make any temple. Money power, by your money power, you cannot make a temple. Goryamad. You cannot make. Money power, man power, by money power, man power, you cannot make so many temples. No. Or at all if you do forcefully, how you can, how you can show the idealism. Idealism is not. That's why many times Prabhupada used to say, our Gauriyamat devotees, big, big pracharak of Gauriyamat, I mean the actual disciples of Prabhupada, those who used to, those, those who all wanted to install all the Siddhanta Vichara of Prabhupada inside the heart of, you know, common people, I mean, those who are coming to here, not possible. That's why Prabhupada told, if you want to prove that you are staying in a temple, but I can prove you are not staying in temple. Because staying in temple means, Prabhupada many, many, many times used to say, without perfect Harikatha Kirtan, without following our Gauriya Guru Bharga, without following our Gauriya Guru Bharga, without following the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, without hearing and singing Harikatha Kirtan perfectly under the guidance of Guru Bharga, you are actually not staying in Gauriya Mat. You are not staying in mud. To stay, if you want to prove that you are staying in mud, then you will have to prove that you are in line with Guru Varga. You are hearing Harikatha and singing Harikatha. But those who, are, those who are having duplicity at heart, those who, are those who are have duplicity in their heart, Prabhupada many times used to say, those who have duplicity in the, inside their heart, they cannot stay. They, they cannot stay inside. Inside that Abhidha Haran Natta Mandir, Abhidha Haran Natta Mandir. What do you mean? A duplicate devotee who want to prove that I am Gauriya devotee. I am Gauriya Mat devotee. I am the disciple of Popa. If you want to prove, Bhakti Siddhanta, still you cannot stay. If you have duplicity inside your heart, you cannot stay inside that, inside that Nam Sankirtan Hall, which is called Abhidharan Natta Mandir. The name of the Sankirtan Hall, the name given, the name given by Prabhupada of the Sankirtan Hall of Chaitanya Mat, Chaitanya Mat, Chaitanya Mat, original Mat, is called Abhidharan Natta Mandir. Abhidha Haran Natta Mandir means Abhidha ignorance cannot stay inside your heart. If you are going to hear Harikatha there from the lotus meat of a pure Gauriya devotee, Abhidha cannot stand. Abhidha can immediately fly away. That's why the name of that Natta Mandir, Natta Mandir is called Abhidha Haran Natta Mandir. Abhidha cannot stay. But Prabhupada repeatedly told, those who are duplicate, hard, they have duplicity. For a long time they cannot stay. They can, for a long time they cannot stay in Abhidya or Nattamandi in the guise of a pure devotee, sannyasi or brahmachari. Because they, they can go away from there. Because the fire of Harikatha can burn them. Ah, up, get up, get out. They can go away. This is the condition of this is the condition of, you know, this, you know, you know, this is the condition of these false devotees. Follow what I mean to say. Actually, point is that Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada, someday, someday, someday Paramangsa Acharya Varjo, someday Paramangsa Acharya Varjo, Srila Gaur Kishad Das Babaji Maharaj, 
someday speaking to Bhimalapasha Saraswati. Someday, Srila Gaur Kishad Das Babaji Maharaj speaking to Prabhupada, Bhimalapasha Saraswati. My Prabhu, my Prabhu, nobody can hear your absolute truth. Better you mind your own business. Someday, Gaur Kishad was heavily speaking. Nobody is going to accept. Don't cop out. Cop out. Whole, whole world, if you can search and show me one genuine devotee, genuine, perfect. Maybe there, but you cannot trace out. They are, going, they are not going to identify that I am pure devotee. They are going to hide themselves because of this situation, dirty situation all around. Competition of love, puja, pratishta, all competition going on, nothing else. If you follow Hari Bhakti Vilas, if you follow Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, if you follow Upadeshamrita, you can go mad. It is my request unto your lotus feet. You go through the commentary written by Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Upadeshamrita. You go through the commentary of Rasamrita Sindhu, you go and check, and what is happening now? They are less interested. They are less interested. They are totally less interested to consult Hari Bhakti Vilas. They are totally less interested to consult Rasamrita Sindhu. They are totally less interested to consult Upadeshamrita, Manashiksha. Shikha Shrak, they are like oh, preliminary, they are useless. Gita, oh, Gita is useless. Oh, Gita is of our infant. All oh, those who are, you know, best. very small devotees, they can. Why we can? But they don't know that the Gita is the foundation of your Gauriya philosophy. Gutai, Gugit, whole Gita, if you find out the gist, you can find Gita is the foundation of your devotional life. But they like to ignore. Ah, useless Gita. If you ask something from Gita, they cannot give answer. They are interested about Ujjal Nilmoli. They are list, interested about Vidagda Madhav, you know, Lalit Madhav, they are interested about that. There is a condition. Basic thing not there. Without any foundation, if you like to make one big building, the build, big, big building is supposed to, supposed to break down, collapse very shortly. So by out of your money power, manpower, you cannot make them power. It was the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It was the order of Panchatattva as a whole. Is that the order of all Gauri Guru Varga, Jagannath Das Baba, all Guru Varga? They came and give, eh, they gave, they gave order to Prabhupada, Vimala Prasad. You go for preaching, they appear. When Satakati 100 crore Sunam Jagga Chaitanya was doing, then they appear in the sky and they giving advice, you go for preaching. Preaching? I have no money power, man power. I'm a very Simple, ma no, everything coming. Everything coming, we are going to send everything to you. Go on preaching. Go on preaching. So, Prabhupada was bound to start preaching. Previously, Prabhupada wanted to do acharan and do harikatha a little bit, okay. But, you know, preaching. But finally, Prabhupada was bound to go for preaching. It is, a, it is the order of Guru Varga. And it is the order of Goranga Mahaprabhu. He cannot violate it. We also cannot stop speaking Harikatha. Maybe I know a few amount of people, handful of people, can understand, understand this kind of Harikatha. So, with full enthusiastic mood, I am going to speak Harikatha because I need to get some kripa from my Guru Varga. Nothing else. I don't want any pranami, not even one garland, not pray, nothing I want. Only I like to get kipa from my Guru Bharga. That's why I'm very much interested. With full enthusiastic attitude, all the time I like to speak Harikatha by the power of Guru Bharga. Nothing else. This is my seva given by Guru Bharga. So, someday, Gaurakishad Babaji Maharaj speaking to Prabhupada heavily, My Prabhu! Nobody going to hear. You mind your own business, you do. All your publication, you can engage some people, pay some amount and do it. Do Harina. Papa speaking. Hey, Gaurakishwar Papa speaking. Why speaking you know? Why speaking you know? 
You can think that Srila Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj was against preaching. You can pass comment. When I speak this way, you can pass, pass comment that surely Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj was against preaching. But not that. You don't know the Siddhanta. Even you cannot find, even, even you cannot find one single Paramahansa with wide ways. Prabhupada is Paramahansa. Every, but you cannot find such a Paramahansa like Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj. Those who are in Paramahansa stage, going to chide people, going to show idealism, only Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj. Because the Paramahansa devotees, they are, they are Uttam Bhakta, high grade. They are not going to find any fault with anybody. That's why they are doing Harinam. They know everybody doing Hari Bhajan. I am not doing Hari Bhajan. But an Acharya like Prabhupada, though he is Paramahansa, he is forceful, he is coming to the sannyas level. Prabhupada is Paramahansa, topmost Paramahansa. Paramahansa Param Paramartha Patim Patito Dharane Kito Vesha Jatim Jati Raja Ganei Parisebha Padam Panama Mishada Prabhupada Padam He is topmost Paramahansa, but nobody understands. They pass comment, ah, he is Paramahansa, why speaking so heavily? Are they are passing this kind of comment. If Papad is Paramahansa, then why is speaking so heavily? Are Paramahansa is topmost Paramahansa, not only Paramahansa, Baram. Paramahansa means topmost, topmost among, among all Paramahansas. Topmost among all Paramahansa. Even Papad can give teachings to those Paramahansas. Even he can give teachings to others. So powerful, so heavy. Follow. Nayan Mani Manjari, the personal associate of Radharani, personal maid servant of Radharani. Not a matter of joy. Whom Radharani used to think, whom Radharani used to think as an eyeball. You are my eyeball. Eyeball is no, I cannot see. Where is he? Where is he? eyeball? Radharani used to sing that she is my eyeball. She mean Nayan Mani Manjari. You are my eyeball. Without you, I feel helpless. You know. So, not a matter of joke. So, if you think that Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj wanted to stop the preaching mood of Prabhupada, not that. Out of humble mood, out of tremendous pain, out of tremendous transcendental pain, if, if after speaking Harikatha for whole life, if, if I cannot make even one devotee in my life, try to understand my mood, painful mood, in my whole life, if I go on speaking Harikatha, and suppose I am trying to maintain my character, behavior, all, everything, but if I cannot make even one devotee, then it is very painful for me. Follow. Gorkishar Baba, Gorkishar Baba Ji never wanted to, never wanted to stop the preaching mood of Prabhupada. Simply out of heavy pain, he was supposed, he was bound to speak that way. Because, Gaurkeshwar Babaji Maharaj wanted to establish bhakti among everybody. Whoever coming in front. Whoever coming, you do bhakti. But they are kapat. Those who used to stay all around Gaurkeshwar Babaji Maharaj, those who all used to stay around Gaurkeshwar Babaji Maharaj to prove, to prove that I am number one sevak of this Paramahansa Siddha Mahatma. Those who used to stay all around Gorkishar Babaji Maharaj, all around. They wanted to prove that we are the topmost sevak of this Paramahansa Siddha Mahatma. But not at all. Papa speaking, actually, Srila Gorkishar Babaji Maharaj externally, Papa speaking, actually, Paramahansa Sreshto, Paramahansa Gorkishar Babaji Maharaj never wanted to Throw them out externally. Paramahansa Guru Bhaskar so clever. 
He never like to throw you out. They never like to kick you out. But they can leave you from heart. They cannot kick you out. Externally, they cannot kick you out. But from heart, they are not going to accept you. Papa speaking, all around Gorkishar Bhaji Maharaj, there are some kapat people, all characterless. Characterless people used to stay. They always wanted to prove that we are number one Sevak or Gorkishar Paramahansa Babaji Maharaj. I mean this, you know, this Siddha Mahatma. But actually, they always used to collect material karma, you know, they are full of karma, kruda, everything. Night time, they are going to get the association, you know, bad association. Gorkisabha knew. But externally, Gorkisabha are not going to kick them out. And also, from internally, Prabhupada, Gorkisabha are not going to accept them. If one Paramahansa Guru Padma, remember, foolish people in the world, they have no information about this Siddhanta. No information, nowhere. They don't know. If my Guru Padma, not going to accept me from heart. If my Guru Padma not going to accept me from heart, my small seva, then I cannot do seva. I cannot do seva. I cannot speak Harikatha. I can develop, I can develop material desire. That's a symptom. But whole world, they have no idea about. They think, Externally, I have seen he has done seva of Guru Padma. He is a number one seva, but they don't know. Who is staying with Guru Padma? Always changing clothes, giving prasadam, writing note. But finally, we see he is, you know, he is actually deviated from the track of Guru Padma. But foolish word, they don't know. They only say materially, we have seen he has done so many seva. Okay, done seva. But what is the result of the seva? What is the result? How you can know? If you shout, that is mango tree. I said, no mango tree. No mango tree. Then you have to sow. It is mango tree, mango fruit is there. In Sanskrit, it is written, Phalena phalakaranam anumiyate. Phalena phalakaranam anumiyate. How I know is mango tree? Are you Maharaj, you see the fruit. Fruit can speak in mango tree. Why you are fighting with me? Foolish world. Huh? He is the number one seva of that Paramahansa. He totally deviated. Totally deviated, I can prove. Totally deviated from the track of Guru Padma. Foolish. If Guru Padma at all going to accept him from heart, then why he is not going to get same etiquette, same Siddhanta Vichar, same acharan, same idea, not going. It is the symptom. Guru Padma used to joke with me. Guru Padma sometimes used to joke with me. Now I understand why he used to joke with me many times. Many times he used to joke. Yeah. In Bengali, Hindi, but I can translate it. Bap ka beta, sipai ka ghora. Bap ka beta, sipai ka ghora, kuch nahi to thoda thoda. In Hindi. The like son, like father. Like the master, like the horse. Guru Padma used to joke with me. Bap ka beta, sipai ka ghora. If you are the original, you are the genuine son of genuine father, your capacity, your fire inside, your, you know, your devotional fire can prove that you are the disciple of the Paramahansa. You need not advertise. Ah, Popad used to love me very much. It is one kind of advertisement. You like to put one banner in front of public that Popad used to love it. You need not, you need not publish. Popad used to love me. Are Popad used to Popad used to love a dog. Even we know my Guru Padman used to love a calf, calf, small calf, monkey. That doesn't mean they are great devotee. It is the nature of Paramahansa. It, come on, it is, a, it is the nature of Paramahansa, they can love everybody. They love. It is their nature. They can love everybody. But you will have to calculate how much love you have for that Paramahansa. That calculation you will have to show me. 
one Paramahansa Guru Padma love you, okay, it's quite natural. But how much love you have, how much dedication you have for that Guru Padma, that is the main question. But you are not speaking this. Only you are going to put one advertisement, Guru Padma used to love me. He make me Acharya, he make me Acharya. You make you Acharya, you are foolish, he wanted to cheat you. He wanted to cheat you. He never wanted to make any Acharya. He told, I cannot find even a single man who is having that kind of power, whom I can select as Acharya. Foolish number one. He wanted to become Acharya, so he is going to cheat you. He wanted to, you wanted to take the chair of Acharya. He wanted to take the chair of Acharya. That's why he wanted to cheat you. He wanted to cheat you, he couldn't understand. Okay. I can make you Acharya. Act as Acharya. You don't know. That's why in Gork in you know this Popa Stava you can find Goti Banchita Bancha Kachinta Padam. How nice. If Paramaya Siddhar Goswami is present here in front of you, I like to break my head unto his lotus feet. Maharaj, how it is possible? I was supposed to put one question in front of Maharaj. How it is possible for you to portray such a picture of Pohupad so accurately? I mean, your stava is just equal to Prabhupada, not image. If Prabhupada is present in front of me, and the stava written by a Prabhupada is present in front of me physically, and the stava, if Popa physically present, and if you put the stava written by Sila Parambaja Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, it's identical. You cannot believe me. I know you cannot believe me. But I am in Vyasasana, I, have, I am not speaking lie. I am not speaking lie. If the stava written by Siddhar Goswami Maharaj is just identical, identical with Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami. Only the difference is that, that stava going to show the Bani Sharup. Only the difference, only the difference you can discover. I cannot discover. The only difference you can discover, but I cannot discover. You can discover is physically present Prabhupada and is Bani Sharu. In the form of Bani, Bani, Bani Sharu, of Prakita Shabda Brahma. Prabhupada came in this world in the form of a Prakita Shabda Brahma. His whole life is full of Harikatha. All nervous system, all everything was totally full of Harikatha. Kipaya Hari Kirta Namurti Dharam. This you know? You don't know? It's written there. Kipaya Hari Kirta Namurti Dharam. Dharani Varahara Kagura Jana. Jana Kadi Kavasa Lasnigda Padam. Panama Mishada Pabhupada Padam. How wonder! Popat came. But Popat came. Popat came. But if you understand the Vani Sharupa Popat, you say, you can say, Popat, Aprakita Sabda Brahma, Aprakita Sabda Brahma, Harikatha, coming in the form of Popat. Kipaya Harikirtana Murti. When Harikirtan, when Harikirtan Harikatha came, when Harikirtan Harikatha came in the form of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Popat, you foolish, you couldn't understand. I am foolish, I couldn't understand. Who is he? Harikirtan, when took the form of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, when Gaurabhani took the form of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, Goswami Jagad Prabhupada, I couldn't realize. I was busy collecting my love, puja, padishta by the help of Prabhupada. Gati banchita banchaka chinta padam. Gati banchita padam. This is the nature, this is the nature of this, you know, Aprakita Acharya. You can find so many Harikatha, maybe 72 Harikatha, each two hours. On the subject matter, 
the Prabhupada and his unique Acharya Siva. The Prabhupada and his unique Acharya 72 minimum Harikatha you can find. Each Harikatha, two hours. Then you can realize who is Prabhupada. A two hours, nothing. But I can speak within two hours. Prabhupada is the ocean of Siddhanta Bichar. Prabhupada is the ocean of idealism. One idealism, but is diversified form. To understand the nature of a Paramahansa, you will have to serve. To understand, to understand the life of a Paramahansa, you will have to understand, you will have to understand his nature. You will have to understand who he want, what he want to do. If I like to serve Prabhupada, but I don't understand what is the what is the inner what is the inner desire of Prabhupada. If I don't understand, then how I can serve? If I like to serve Prabhupada, first of all, I will have to search out very carefully what Prabhupada like, what Prabhupada don't like, which way I should do seva so that Prabhupada can approve. According to my whimsical attitude, according to my whimsical attitude, I can take decision. Well, I can do this Prabhupada Seva. But you don't know at all there is the approval of Prabhupada or not. Follow. If I like to serve my Guru Padma, I have to search out the desire of Guru Padma. What Guru what Guru Padma want to what what Guru Padma, what Guru Padma want to do? by me. I am instrument. What my Guru Padma wanted to do, I am only instrument through me. Same thing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told na, when Swanathan Goswami took decision to throw his body under the wheel, under the wheel of chariot, Jagannath chariot. Swanathan took decision, na? you know it very well. Because in whole body full of blood and you know bad blood, scabies, oh, eh. skin disease. Every day Mahaprabhu coming and embracing. So another, don't touch me, Prabhu. My blood going. Prabhu speaking, I am touching you to purify myself. Mahaprabhu speaking, Sanatan, I am touching you to purify myself. What to do? Finally, Sunatan took decision to throw his body under the wheel of no, Jagannath Dev in chariot festival. But Gorang Mahapu sitting inside heart, a super soul, running and coming and chiding Sunatan, Sunatan! What do you think? If I, if you, if you can prove by leaving my body, I can get Krishna Bhakti. I can live my body life after life. You know, if I say, this kind of body I can live very easily. So, Nathan, if you can prove that by leaving body, I can get Krishna Bhakti, then I can live my body very easily. So, why you have taken decision? What you mean to say? Don't try to cheat me. Why you have taken decision? To leave your body under the wheel of chariot of Jagannath. This body is your body now. Your body. With full submission you like to, you wanted to show me that you have full surrender. If you are surrendered to me, then your body is my body. Mahaprabhu told, this body is my body. How you take decision whimsically? You have no right to take decision to leave your body. This body is my body now. Now your body is my body. Mine, I can do anything. It's my instrument. By the help of your body, I like to do so many seva. Same thing. Prabhupada wanted to engage some of his Guru Bhargava, those who are totally in line with Prabhupada, wanted to engage them in Gaurubani Prachar. Perfect preaching of Gaurubani. Wanted to prove Gaurvani preaching. So if at all my Guru Padma is going to accept me from heart, then sure my 
character, my behavior, my Siddhanta Vichar, my all activities, all my activities and all my idealism can match, surely can match with my Guru Padmas, idealism, character, behavior, everything. Idealism you have to see. If you find some disparity, then be sure he is devoid of kipa. Is not. Many times Bob are told, slightest deviation from the track of your Guru Padma, slightest deviation from the track of your Guru Padma can throw you away from bhajan. Slightest. Slightest even. One, you know, one here, you know, slightest deviation from the track of your Guru Padma can throw you away from Hari Bhajan. What do you think? You think out of your own power you can do Hari Bhajan? Many times, if I go on discussing, it will take months, year, whole life scrutiny. If you go on doing, follow. It is the nature of Paramahansa Guru Vaishnava. If they find duplicity inside you, if they find duplicity inside you, they like to cheat you. It is the nature of Paramahansa Guru Vaishnava. It is the nature of Paramahansa Guru Vishnu. If they find some duplicity inside you, they can cheat you. Oh, you are great, so nice Harikatha you are speaking. You are writing. Oh, your writing is so powerful. Everybody, you know, feeling attraction, they can cheat you. This way, this way, many people, many people, many people, they were all cheated by Prabhupada. They came, they came in front of Bhakti Siddhanta, Saraswati Goswami, Tagore, Prabhupada, you know, Paramahansa Jagat Guru, but Prabhupada wanted to deprive them. Actually, Prabhupada never wanted to, they had deprived themselves. If I go in front of Bhangshidas Babaji Maharaj, if I go in front of Gorkishar Babaji Maharaj, and if I want to, if I am expecting some material benefit, then is a, what is the valuation of the land there in, you know, Navadip? Gorgisar Babaji Maharaj is going to ask somebody, to some material man. He is coming. Actually, what is the price of the land of Navadip? Eh? Follow. And what is the price of rice? Rice is so much costly as present. He is going to cheat him. Follow. This way, Paramahansa Guru Vaishnava always want to, always want to cheat you. If you are material, if you are kapat, they like to cheat you. That's why so many devotees, so many people took shelter unto a lotus feet of Prabhupada. But how many of them could get actual kipa? That is the main question. So many, you can find so many, make a list. How many people? Grihastha, Banaprastha, or Brahmacharya, Sannyasis. Oh, you can. Paramahansa. But you can show me. Even they couldn't see Prabhupada. What to speak about taking, what to speak about taking shelter out of the speed of Prabhupada, what to speak about taking Dikha from Prabhupada, even they couldn't see Prabhupada. I am not speaking lie. I am quoting exact Siddhanta Vichar what Prabhupada told. Prabhupada told. Those who are going to think that we need one Guru. Okay, we can take one Guru. Very famous. Like if you have one boat, you are going to take a boatman unit. If you have one boat, you need one boatman to cross the river. People think with this kind of conception, if they are going to take me, accept me as a guru, if they are coming to me, if they are going to take shelter, if they are going to take shelter, but after taking diksha, they gone away from me, Papa speaking, with some duplicity, with some duplicity, with some duplicity, who all came to me to take shelter unto a lotus feet of Gauriyamat. They have no connection with Gauriyamat. With some duplicity, those who all came to take shelter, 
Eh? Of Gauriya Mart, actually they have no connection with Gauriya Mart. They have no connection with Gauriya Mart. They never, they never understand what is Gauriya Mart. They have no connection with Gauriya Mart. Gauriya Mart cannot have, does not have any link with them. Then, but then their diksha is not perfect. Now at present, like a pros market, like a pros market, diksha. How many number I can make disciple? How many time I can go to foreign country? You try to deliver yourself first. Papa used to say, my Guru Padman used to say, first you try to do, hey! Somebody taking permission, Maharaj, I can go to foreign country. Why you can go? Why? Why? Preaching. What preaching? Do bhajan. Foolish. Do bhajan first. Huh. Preaching. Preaching. What do you mean by preaching? What do you mean? Speak Harikatha about preaching. Before preaching, you speak Harikatha on the topic. Huh. Preaching. You speak. We like to hear. Foolish. Those who are coming to take shelter unto a lotus seed of Goryamat with some duplicity, they have no connection with Goryamat. Goryamat cannot have, does not have any connection with them. So then, their diksha is duplicate diksha. Their diksha is not original diksha. Until then, unless you are 100% Inclined under the lotus feet of Guru Padma Paramahansa, you cannot get perfect Dikya. And if you say 50% inclined, you can get 50% benefit. If you are inclined 80%, you can get 80%. According to the ratio, according to the, according to the ratio of your inclination, you can get benefit from Sadguru, Prabhupada. You cannot say you have taken Diksha. Those who are taking false Diksha, they cannot have any, they cannot get any right to do Bhagavad Seva. They cannot enter into temple. They cannot sit in Besasan. They cannot cook. But you can throw me out of. You can throw me out of Besasan. Maharaj, you are speaking. I am speaking. I am speaking the truth. I can show you from Hari Bhakti Bilas. I can show you from, you know, Jiva Goswami Sandarbha. I can show you. But I know you like to kick me out. Because you don't, don't like to follow the idealism sold by Prabhupada. I know. I know it very well. That's why I am outside. Actually, I am staying in Chaitanya Mart. You cannot disprove it. I am staying in Chaitanya Mart. If you have power, you prove me that I am not inside Chaitanya Mart. And those who are staying in Chaitanya Mart, let them prove they are in Chaitanya Mart. Let them prove. Let them prove they are in Chaitanya Mart. And let them, you know. And they can prove, they can try to prove that I am not inside Chaitanya Mahal. I am inside Chaitanya Mahal. But you cannot see by your eyes. These your eyes can see, stool and urine and woman and man, this you can see. This is your dirty darshan. I cannot engage my Guru Padma for my seva. I cannot engage my Guru Padma in my seva. Guru Padma is not my servant. He can arrange some love, puja, patishtha for me. I cannot engage my Guru Padma. At present, this is the situation. We are going to engage Guru Padma to collect some name, fame, position. Why you are going to identify? Why you are going to identify that you are the disciple of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur? Your character can speak. Follow what I mean to say. Why you are going to prove why you want to advertise that you are the disciple of Bhakti Siddhanta? Your character, your behavior, everything can true. I am speaking any. I am speaking anything unusual. I can show you that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Adi Keshap Temple, Adi Keshap Temple, and Shonariya Vipra. Mahaprabhu went there to pay Dandavad. Mahaprabhu was out of prema, crying and dancing. Finally, when the dancing and chanting over, they discussing with each other. Gosai, they are asking, Gosai, I think you have some connection with uh, uh, Madhavendapuri. 
Yes, and the disciple, you know, of Ishapuripat. Oh, that's why I know. This kind of prema, where from? So you see, Mahaprabhu not going to identify, I am the disciple of Ishar Puripad. Shonariya Vipro, he was not ready to identify himself that I am the disciple of Madhavendra Puripad. Rupa Goswami never wanted to prove that I am the disciple of him. Shonatana Goswami not going to advertise, I am the disciple of this. Follow. No, never. They never wanted to advertise, I am the disciple. Now, one kind of ism, all society, you know, ism, one kind of ism, like fascism, communism, capitalism, guruism, guruism going on. Ah, guru, 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 guru. Are, guru? guru is not a man made of uh, flesh, flesh and blood. You, you are making politics. Ah, it's my guru. Ah, it's your guru. I can throw your guru out of idiot number one. Infinity period, you will have to eat stool. Infinity period, you will have to eat stool as a beast, boar. You can take birth as a boar. You throw one pure Vaishnava out of temple simply because he is not, not going to approve your dirty activities. There is a reason. You like to throw him out. So you will have to take birth as boar. You can eat stool. Life after life, you will have to. You don't know the result. You don't know the result of Vaishnava Parad. You are foolish number one. You have no idea about what, what is the result you can get out of Vaishnava Parad. Foolish. This way, we need not, we need not, we need not, you know, start, we need not start advertisement. I am the disciple of Paramahansa Guru, Pākatma, Sila Bhakti, Pumat Puri. Why? My character, my behavior, my acharan, my bhava, my siddhanta bhisha, automatically people go, who, who, who is guru? Who is guru? Who is his guru? Automatically. You need not put one advertisement to get some love puja patisha. Many times, Prabhupada wanted to cheat people. Those are kapat. Many, many educated, very high quality, you know, People came in front of Prabhupada. But even they couldn't see, even they couldn't see Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami. They couldn't see, they took Diksha, no. Even they couldn't see him. What to speak about taking Diksha? What do you mean by Diksha? Even they couldn't see Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. But they are identifying themselves under the sub. Even taken Harinam. I wonder. Only taken Harinam six months before. Only taken Harinam six months before or maximum eight months before. Prabhupada living, Hari, living body. They want to preach that he is the Parshad of Prabhupada. They are making temple. I have no right to uh, put some objection because they have money power, manpower. But still I can object. Let them come and fight with me. Let them come and fight with me. He took Harinam from Bhopad at the last moment. He never took Diksha. How you can prove that he is a Parshat? What is the meaning of Parshat? You can speak Harikatha on this topic, Harinam. Foolish, idiot. You speak Harikatha. Who is Parshat? What do you mean by Parshat? You going to prove? You going to make temple? Why? I can honor one Vaishnava. Maybe he, he has taken Harinam, Diksha, but what is your nature? You always want to collect La Puja Patisha. That's why I, I, my objection, the, the reason of my objection. I'm not speaking somebody has taken Harinam. He is not Guru Bhargav. I'm not speaking. I'm going to pay respect. But you have no right to speak that he is his, your and a Parshad of Prabhupada. If you, even if you can pay me crores of rupees, even if you are going to pay me crores of rupees, still I cannot confess. I cannot write in the books. I cannot speak in Harikatha, he is a person. You can pay me crores of rupees. I can throw it out. Follow what I say. So it cannot be Parshat. Parshat means those who are going to implement. Parshat means those who are going to implement all the Siddhanta features of Prabhupada. They are Parshat. Not everybody. Parshat. If Parshat, then why are they gone? 
Why they gone? By living Prabhupada, they gone, living Prabhupada. Prabhupada speaking, they wanted to prove that they are topmost disciple in front of public. But now, where are they gone? Leaving me. They, were, they you know, I, I, Prabhupada speaking, I heard, I heard them speaking. I heard them speaking Harikatha. I heard them singing uh, Kalyan Kalpataru, you know, Manashiksha, so many Kirtan. But after that, what happens? They leave me. Why? They leave me. Gone. Paramahaja Keshav Goswami was speaking. Paramahaja Keshav Goswami was speaking. One day, one Shubodh is the topmost writer in Gauriya society. Someday, out of his chanchal bab, Kama, he left Prabhupada and gone to Dhaka. Dhaka was his original home. He left Prabhupada. He resigned as the editor of Gauriya, as the topmost writer, topmost by the mercy of Prabhupada. Topmost writer. He left Prabhupada. And gone. Gone to his Purvasram, previous ashram, Dhaka. But we never saw, Keshav Goswami was speaking, we never saw, but we never saw Prabhupada crying, oh, well, he was a big, big writer, oh, so nice, you know, he used to, he gone, oh, oh, never. Never, Prabhupada told. When he gone, one by one, this kind of duplicate soul, when one by one, they left Prabhupada, Papa never passing any comment about them. No. Okay. It is a desire of it is a it is a desire. Oh, no. It is a according to their luck, they go. Papa norm never expressing any. Papa never lamenting. We never saw Papa lamenting. Oh, we gone. Okay, gone. But it was the character of Paramangsa, Papa. One illiterate devotee, illiterate, you cannot believe me. Illiterate, he cannot write any, he cannot read, A, A B, C, cannot read. His name was Panchanan. Even I am going to speak the name of the devotee, Panchanan. Very simple devotee, not educated. He used to wash the temple, he used to you know, clean the utensil, everything. Very, very simple devotee. Eh, even the, you know, cleaning a temple. You know, washing, washing, you know, utensil, everything. But Prabhupada, ten times in a day, ten times, ten times in a day asking, Hey, hey, where is Panchanan? I cannot see Panchanan, where gone? Ten times in a day. I cannot see Panchanan. He was there. Where is he? Where gone? Because Prabhupada can realize how much deep relationship that Panchanan have for me, with me, with me. Sadguru can realize, you cannot cheat him. Sadguru can realize, some devotee in the temple, they wanted to prove in from by, um, uh, Guru Padma that Samal Krishna is mad, his brain is cracked, in front of my Guru Padma. He wanted to prove. He is actually a very nice boy, nice man, but his, uh, his brain is cracked brain. <laughs> Guru Padma was laughing. So I am not worried. They can prove. They can prove. They can try to. They, try, they can try to dismiss me from the keep up Guru Padma. Let me see. They are actually material people. They have no idea. This way, by making politics, you cannot get keep up from Guru Padma. This way, by making politics, you cannot, you know. Get Guru Kipa. Guru Padma is not foolish. You can realize everything. So, in a day, at least five, ten times, nobody used to ask, where is Panchanan gone? I cannot see him. He was here doing seva. Well, Prabhupada Panchanan gone to field to collect some, you know, wooden piece. Okay, okay, nice. But Prabhupada is less interested about this kind of topmost writer. Come on. When he gone, ah, gone, gone. Prabhupada not speaking anything. Prabhupada was not worried about the editor gone. Okay, gone. 
we are serving Sadguru, we are Sadguru, we are going to serve Sadguru, it is our luck. It is our luck, foolish. It is, it is our luck. It is our luck that we are going to serve Guru Padma. It is our luck. Because by Sadguru Seva, by Sadguru Seva, I can get the complete thing. Complete maturity of my bhajan life. Not maturity, I can get the topmost goal of my life, of bhajan. By Sadguru Seva. Whereas you think, whereas you think, you are going to give some service to Guru Padma, so Guru Padma must be very grateful for that. You are serving Guru Padma, your attitude, you are serving Guru Padma, and it is your attitude as if, as if you want to prove that Guru Padma should be grateful. Guru Padma should be grateful that I am giving seva to him. Who is going to do seva? This is our nature. Dirty nature. Guru Padma should be grateful. I am an educated man, nice looking. I can speak English, Hindi, Sanskrit, Bengali, everything. So Guru Padma, Guru Padma cannot speak English. Eh? Then? Then? Guru Padma should be grateful that I am going to join him, his mission, speaking Harikat fully. Idiot, idiot, idiot. Idiot, idiot number one. They are ass number one, ass, you know, ass, donkey, humpty, dumpty, you know, this, you know, we used to read in a small age, forty, five years, six years, boy. This way, completely destroyed. The feeling of bhajan totally destroyed. Never mind. Never mind. Totally. The environment of Bhajan almost destroyed. Almost destroyed. Very painful. Pure Guru Vishnu, day by day, they like to go away from this material world. They don't like to take pranami from you. Day by day, they are waiting to leave their body. They are not expecting any garland and pranami from you. They are, they are waiting to leave their body by watching this kind of dirty environment world around. Nobody sincerely like to do Hari Bhajan. Nobody like to sacrifice their life. Whereas, whereas in material world, come on, whereas in material world we can find a freedom fighter, he is ready to sacrifice his life on the motherland. Whereas one, Freedom fighter is ready to sacrifice his life, life for motherland. But I am not going to sacrifice my life, but still I am not ready to sacrifice my life for the great Kauranga Parsha, the great Radharani Parsha, Pahupat. I am not ready. One freedom fighter going to sacrifice his life, he is going to jump into fire in front of bullet so, you fire me is going to whereas whereas guru Padma is going to allow us the topmost benefit for infinity world guru Padma want to find permanent solution for me guru Padma paramahansa sesto bhakti pramod purigashi maharaj sridhar goshi maharaj they are all my guru Goswami Maharaj, all my Guru, Keshav Goswami Maharaj, they wanted to find solution, permanent solution of my life. But I am so rascal number one. I am going to make, make fool of them. They wanted to give me solution for infinity pure. But I am so foolish. Only I am busy with La Puja Patishta. How many disciples that, that Acharya, I can make more than that. How many times is, is going to foreign country? I can go more than that. My statistics you can see. How many temples is made? I am making more temples than that. But even pure devotee never like to, a pure devotee never like to make this, this kind of competition. Rather, if you, you can find some, you know, instruction by Rupa Goswami, Swanathanga, all different, you know, Shastra from different. 
When 50 temple was there already, Saradindu Rai, he was speaking with Prabhupada. Prabhupada, you are making 50 temples but so quickly, within short period of time. Prabhupada, what are you are speaking? I wanted to install Gauriamat inside the heart of everybody, all entity. I wanted to you know, establish Gauriamat inside the heart of everybody. But you are singing 50 Gauriamat? <laughs> 50 Gauriamat? I wanted to install Gauriamat everybody, in the heart of everybody. In place, in, in, ex, you know, in exchange, in exchange of 50 Gauriamat, you know, in exchange of 50 Gauriamat, I like to get 50 mobile Gauriamat. In place of, in exchange, I should not say, because Gauriamat is equal to, in, in, a, in place of Gauriamat, I mean, if I am not going to make 50 Gauriamats, rather, if I can make 50 such mobile Gauriamat, is more practical. They can go anywhere. They can prove that this is the gravity of Gauriamat, that is the glories of Gauriamat, but where is the representative of Gauriamat at present? Where is the representative of Chaitanya Mahat at present? Where is the representative of Gauriya Mahat? Where is the representative of Chaitanya Mahat at present? That is the question. We like to represent Gauriya Mahat. We never like to represent Maya Devi. We never like to represent Maya Devi. To collect some name, fame, you can give girl and money. No. It's, it's called cars. If you are collecting crores of rupees, one kind of cars for you. It can destroy your life, you foolish, you don't know. It can destroy your whole, whole life because you are collecting money and money and money. But you cannot find the utility of that money. You are putting in bank. Here, businessman, here, are you fine? I can show you, go with me in Bindavan. Another, other sampradaya, Nimbarka sampradaya, other sampradaya. They are sadhu. They are getting so many donations. But immediately they are going to use that donation for making you know, different kind of seva. Not like you, putting that side. Money power is the best power. This is their slogan. Money power is the best power is their slogan. But Papa speaking, that some people, some people are going to claim, some people speaking, time is money. Some people speaking that time is money. Papa speaking, no, foolish, time is paramartha. Time is paramartha, one one second gone. If one one if one one second going away, pure Guru Vishnu crying. Because I cannot do bhajan properly. One second gone means gone forever. One year gone from your life, gone forever. You cannot get back. You cannot get back one year gone, gone forever. You are losing. You are approaching towards your dom's day, last day. You are approaching gradually. You forget. So time is paramartha. Time is money, people. Some foolish people speaking. Papa said, no, time is paramartha. How I can say time is money? Time is not money, paramartha. You know. Somebody is speaking that money power, money is the second God. I heard, I heard they are preaching at present in different places. I heard myself, money is second God. I am very lucky that you are not speaking the money is first God. If you could, if you could speak that money is first God, then I was bound to obey because you are very powerful, you have money power. Otherwise, you can give me punishment. You have so many gunda, you have hooligan, you can give them money and you know, beat that Mara. They are doing this. Now they are engaging hooligan, they have making money. This is their power. This is their power. They cannot deliver themselves. So, money is the second God. And Maharaj, why not you speak money is the first God? It is your highness. It is your highness that you are speaking money is the second God. You should speak money is the first, you know, you know, money is the first God. 
that we cannot see Bhagavan. Eh? So, one pure Guru Vaishnava like Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami, Prabhupada, Gaurkisya Baba, all, they can cheat me anyway. They can cheat me. If they discover that I am a cheater. If they can realize I am a cheater, many times Prabhupada used to cheat them. Gati banchita bancha kachinta padam. Gati banchita bancha kachinta padam. He used to cheat. Oh, you are great. Oh, people are getting so much benefit from you. You are writing, you are writing so powerful. Oh, foolish people, those who are not actual disciples of Gurudev, try to understand. This Siddhanta Vichar, you should remember. Those who are duplicate devotees, their mood, I am going to speak. If they are not going to get any love, puja, patishtha from Guru Padma, they cannot feel any inspiration to do seva. If at all they are not going to get any love, puja, patishtha from Guru Padma, they are showing less interested. They become less interested to do seva. Now listen, what you can do by seva? If they are going, into, going to get into it, they are ah, now. Guru Padma is giving inspiration, huh? very clever. But you don't know. You are going to take you inside hell. You don't know. You don't know the power of Sadguru. You have no idea. I think you never heard about Guru Tattva. Only you will have to hear Guru Tattva years after years. Years after years, you will have to be past you can, if you can go to seven years, eight years back, or six years, you will have to hear Guru Tattva, life after life. If you re the day you can realize what is Guru Tattva, then you can understand, oh, this is Guru. This is Guru who can do anything. Guru Padma staying thousands of kilometers away from you can understand, can read your heart, can understand your mood. Thousands of kilometers from you, you are staying. Guru Padmanda can understand everything, what you are doing. They can realize. Follow. You don't know the nature of Guru Padmanda, what is the, you know. So, it was very clear, it was very clear that eternal Acharya Sip the acharya ship or the the acharya ship the acharya ships the acharya ship shown by Prabhupada was not temporary acharya ship. Try to realize what I say. All acharya ship at present is temporary acharya ship. They cannot prove their eternal acharya ship. Eternal acharya ship is coming from up. Uh, yeah, eternal acharya ship is acharya forever. It infinity period is Acharya. And somebody sometime getting uh, Sadhan Siddha, they can become Acharya. That is separate. But about Prabhupada, we can say, Prabhupada wanted to show the eternal Acharya Sip. The eternal Acharya Sip. Very miracle things. A confusing. Very, very confusing. Why Prabhupada speaking this way? Why Prabhupada speaking this way? Why? We cannot understand. Eh? You cannot understand in confusion. Why Prabhupada seeking this? But you don't know. It is the nature of Prabhupada. It is the nature of Gauriya Paramahansa Acharyas. It is the nature of Brajavasi. I would say more precisely, clearly. I cannot say Acharya only. I can say those Brajavasis, those who are acting as Acharya, those Brajavasis, those Brajavasis, or acting as Acharya, their nature is like that. Because their nature is like Radharani. They like to cheat you. You know, if they find how Radharani wanted to play trick, how Radharani used, how Radharani used to play trick, how to cheat, you know, mother-in-law, this, that, all people used to engage herself in Krishna Seva. That is a technique. Very, 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 very clever. Papa used to say, sometime Papa used to say, sometime Papa used to say, 
if I am going to give honor to that man, if I am going to give some honor to the man, and if I am getting some great facility for Krishna Seva, I am ready to give honor to him. Because my, because my giving honor to him can bring huge amount of Seva. You cannot understand. You cannot understand. Previously, many times I explained, the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he wanted to speak. I have no time to discuss. You know, if I am going to get great facility of Krishna Seva, Guru Gauranga Seva, so why not I give honor to him? Whereas that same Prabhupada speaking, whereas same Prabhupada speaking, don't try to praise or criticize anybody. Hari. <laughs> you are speaking, you are speaking in Harikatha, don't try to praise or criticize anybody. You are speaking yourself with high heart. Now you are speaking. You cannot make any, you cannot harmonize. You cannot harmonize. It's impossible for you to harmonize all the character, behavior, speaking, looking of one Paramahamsa. If you like to calculate, play your brain, you can straight to go to hell. What is the unique? Eh? Now speaking, you started that, the today speaking, cannot, cannot harmonize. Parashabhava karmani na prashankshad nagar hai. Parashabhava karmani na prashankshad nagar hai. Vishwam ekatmakan pashana prakriti purushena cha. Don't try to criticize any, any man or woman. No. But it can bring one bondage in your life. Because they are in bonded condition. If you want to criticize somebody, you will have to concentrate. If you, have, if you like to criticize somebody, you will, in your mind you will have to concentrate, na? The man about whom you are going to criticize, you will have to concentrate. So you are diverted from bhajan for that time. That much time you are giving negative way. And by chance, if by that time if you are going to die, you can go to hell. So better don't try. Parashabhava karmani no person. Ah, Maharaj, he is very good man in the society. He is a very good man in the society. If I speak some glorification, don't do. Because he is a good man, according to the calculation of the society, according to the, according to the calculation of the society, he is a good man. Because his all qualities are not transcendental qualities, material qualities. Material quality is good man, but according to the estimation of this material world, according to the estimation of the material world, his character behavior okay. But anyway, he is not transcendental. He is not Vaishnav. He want to Glorify him, then you will have to concentrate. Suppose I like to glorify one political leader. Maybe he's good. Maybe he's good. But that kind of, maybe he's honest, maybe he's punctual, maybe he is dedica dedicated for the country. But anyway, that kind of dedication, that kind of honesty, that kind of punctuality has no value in our bhajan life. He can have this kind of value in the society, but we cannot discover any value. That is useless. Because he has, maybe he has punctuality and ethical character. Maybe that political leader, his ethical character is very good. He is honest. He is not going to steal money. He is going to you know, follow some, okay. But that kind of honesty, that kind of punctuality, that kind of you know, ethical character has, has got no meaning. In our bhajan life. Follow what is it? So anyway, if I am going to glorify when the you know, Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, came in Netaji Stadium, they invited me many times. I am openly speaking in Harikatha. Not in later, physically, by phone, coming people, but I didn't like to go. I didn't like to go there. Prime Minister came in Calcutta, seven, six, seven years before. I have the documents. They've sent me magazine, they sent me, you know, that gift, everything. I didn't think it necessary to go. Because why I go, this is not Hari Seva. Come on, this is not bhajan, if I go. This is not bhajan, unnecessarily. Why I can, why, why I can go? Use my time. Simply I told them I am a fallen soul, I have no quality, I have big personality coming, why should I go? 
I told them many times, I cannot go. So, this kind of, you know, if I, if I want to glorify, if I want to glorify one bonded soul, maybe he is political leader, freedom fighter, but still he is bonded soul. If I want to concentrate to glorify him, to, glorif to glorify him and about his, you know, character, I will have to concentrate. And that much time, I am going to lose my bhajan. And maybe I can fall down. So, Parashabhava Karmani, no Prasunsa, no Garhet. But it is the nature of Prabhupada. He used to invite big, big scientists, you know, vice chancellor of university, or one scientist, or, you know, viceroy, viceroy of India, is to invite. Because not to hear something important from them, but to, but to allow them to hear, so that, if this important personality is going to give some importancy, if this man can realize the gift of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, he can speak to somebody and they can also come. And also common people, they are foolish. If they find one big, one big you know, freedom fighter coming, one big political leader coming, they can also come. And in huge number they can come. This is the nature of public. When the king of football, when the king of football came, then I was playing football, very young boy. He came, play Pele. I didn't go. There are thousands and lakhs of people coming to watch him. A man made up of blood and flesh, blackish in color, dirty looking. What I can see? What I can see? This is a matter, this is not, you know, eh. What I can see, better I can go to watch the lotus feet of Dameshwar Gauranga. Better I can see the lotus feet of some Vaishnava. It's more practical. What I can do? This way, it is perplexing, contradictory. When Popa speaking this, and sometimes Popa speaking this, but you cannot understand. Until and unless your heart is totally harmonized with Popa, you cannot. I can speak one or two incidents. One or two incidents, you can realize then. <coughs> Popa is actually uh, giving instruction to one sevak. You go to the market and buy very costly shoe. Shoe, you know? Shoe, costly shoe. Which costing 34 rupees. That time 34 rupees means now at present more than 2,000. More than 2,000 is minimum. Uh, maybe more than that. Very costly. British government that time, that man coming and speaking the price 34 rupees. Now you give this boot, shoe to Ban Ban Goswami Maharaj. To Ban Goswami Maharaj. Why? Well, you, you ask him, he can wear this shoe and come in front of me. Ban Goswami Maharaj was stunned. Are he? I am sannyasi. Eh? How I can go? Ban Goswami Maharaj and Vaikhanus Goswami Maharaj, some, some Maharaj there, our Goswami Maharaj, they used to travel in Dhamma without shoe. You don't know. You have no information. Goshai Maharaj, our Banu Goshai Maharaj, they all used to travel in Dham without shoe. Whereas, Prabhupada gave me, hey, you ask Banu Maharaj to take, uh, you know, put on this shoe and come in front of me. And Banu Maharaj hesitating, feeling shy. You ask him to come in front of me. When Banu Goshai Maharaj is coming in front of Prabhupada, which shooted, booted, try, coat and boot, and Popa speaking, Popa looking at him. Now come on. It is called Jukta Vairagya, balance Vairagya. Come on, now you are going to show Jukta Vairagya, balance Vairagya. Now you are going to renounce. Now today, Popa speaking, now today you are going to renounce your renunciation. Now you are going to renounce even your renunciation. Now today you are going to renounce even your renunciation for Radharani Seva, Gauranga Seva. That Prabhupada, one Sevak, he is going to buy one chapel costing 85 paisa. That Prabhupada, same Prabhupada. 
When my sevak buying one chapel, 85 paisa. And Prabhupada goes, hey, who buy this? I buy it. How much, how much cost? 85. You are bogey. You are sense enjoyer. Perplexing. You cannot understand. Same Prabhupada. He is chiding him for 85 paisa. That Prabhupada praising for 34 rupees. Your brain cannot grasp this point. It's a question of Yukta Vairagya. It's a very secrecy. Very, very secrecy. Perplexing. That Prabhupada is the topmost Pandit. That Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur is the topmost Pandit in the world. Not only erudite scholar. I cannot say erudite scholar. He is the topmost. Nobody can defeat him. But that Prabhupada, but that Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati going to take shelter unto a lotus feet of such a guru who has no you know, educational qualification. It is revolting. How you can understand who is Prabhupada? Who himself educated? So high. But he himself going to take shelter of, of such a guru who has no educational qualification. You cannot understand. Material people cannot understand. You will have to harmonize with the heart of Prabhupada. It is my promise to you. I am in Basasan. I am in Basasan. I promise you. The day you can harmonize your heart with Bhakti Prakant Kesav Goswami Maharaj. The day you can harmonize your heart with Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. The day you can harmonize your heart with Bhakti Prakant Puri Goswami Maharaj. The day you can you are successful to harmonize your heart with Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta. Then you can realize everything clearly like water. You can realize, oh, this is the reason. Miracle. That Prabhupada with so super excellent character, super excellent accuracy, super excellent achar, acharan, that Prabhupada going to give order of food to some important hotel, that great, great Eastern hotel. Great Eastern hotel. Because, because British government is, you know, is, is very uh, governor of India and uh, uh, Bengal coming. He's coming. Why? Popat could give a prasadam of Goryamat. But no. Popat giving order to somebody going and giving some special preparation from Great Eastern Hotel. You cannot understand. You can misunderstand Popat. All for the service of Gauranga. All for the service. You cannot understand what is a miracle. How possible? You cannot understand. Your brain cannot understand. That's why Papa told, I can come down to any level. I can come down to any level for the actual preaching of Chaitanya Vani. I can do anything. Let people criticize me. I can do everything and each thing. For the service of for, for the preaching of Gauranga, Gaurbani. Very, very to high topics. To discuss about Prabhupada is very, very high topics. I feel shy. To touch the Siddhanta Vijara Prabhupada, I always feel shy. How I can? My character, my behavior is not at par. So, I like to stop my small speech here. But one thing I would like to say, today is the day, today is a particular tithi. I cannot say day. Every, whatever I am speaking also will be scientific. I cannot say today is a day. I cannot say today is a tithi. Tithi, you know, tithi, you know. Star position, tithi. Today is a tithi when Prabhupada left this material world in the year of 1936 uh, as, per, uh, as per Bengali calendar and as per English calendar. First, first January 1937, as per Bengali calendar, I would say 1936, 31st December, the last day of the year. Today's the day. I like to touch one, one minute, one thing. The last moment when Prabhupada took decision to go away from this material world, nobody could keep him. He started 
discovering Sikh Lela, my Guru Pad Padma, Bhakti, you know, his name was, you know, Par Pranama Pranamananda Prabhu and Paramananda Prabhu, two seva. One is Paramananda Prabhu, another, another is Pranamananda. One is Pranamananda, one is Paramananda, two seva. Round the clock serving Prabhupada. What happens? What can, who knows what can happen when? Round the clock, medicine, water, hot water, water, all the time. Twelve hours Guru Pad Padmo, twelve hours Parmananda Prabhu, night time Bhakti Pumat Purigashi Maharaj, morning time Parmananda Prabhu. So night, six to six, six to six, or uh, maybe five to five, I can say. Five to five. So morning five to evening five, evening five to morning five, twelve hours, twelve hours. In the meantime, Guru Padma very sad, feeling very heavy, watching the Leela of Prabhupada. Watching the Leela of Prabhupada. Guru Padma could realize Prabhupada now, within a short period of time, Prabhupada going to leave us. So heavy, heavy heart, with heavy heart. In the morning time, going to give the responsibility to Paramananda Prabhu, because twelve hours over, now Guru Padma step by step, one by one, step by, very slowly, going and thinking, what will happen? What will happen if Prabhupada goes away? What will happen? In the meantime, Paramananda Prabhu calling, Paramananda, come quickly, come quickly. What happens? Prabhupada gone. Gone? Prabhupada leave body. 4.30 over, uh, around morning, Nishanta Leela. Prabhupada leave. All, you know, Guru Padma, all devotees started, blasted into tears. Blasted into tears, all as if the heaven, as if the heaven broken down, as if the heaven broken down on our head. Oh my God. Prabhupada gone. The news spread like a current all, about, all around the world. Like current. Guru Padma saying, that if there was a miracle, when Prabhupada left body, all watch, all watch, every hand watch or clock, all stuck up at the same time. When Prabhupada left body, four, maybe 4.55 or 4, I don't know the time, but it is written that morning time, Nishanto Leela. When Radha Govindu is you know, going to break their sleep, Leela, that time, Prabhupada left body. Guru Padma speaking, miracle. All, all in whole temple, wherever watch, whatever, wherever there is one watch or clock, all stuck up. Not moving, all stand still. Miracle. We are very, I like to discuss so many things, but time cannot permit. This much I can say, what Prabhupada told, we, our bad luck, we are going to burn up, Papa told. I can discuss someday, not today. We are bad luck. Even after getting this kind of opportunity, could not take advantage of this. We, Papa told, all your luck is burnt up. Papa told, someday I can discuss. All your luck is burnt up. That's why you could not get that opportunity. Papa told. So he took decision to leave us because we are kapat, we are kapat, we are kapat. Papa left us and gone to his nitya seva. Follow. Someday I like to discuss all important points. Today time cannot permit. Gauranga gatir bajasitamati si gauradhamasiti Sasasai kavitir kushang virati Dusto vetha niskriti Si rupai karati sanatana nati Si jivate jostuti Si shedhanta saraswati vijayate Gauriya ghosti pati Si shedhanta saraswati vijayate Gauriya ghosti pati Bancha kalpatur vasi ke pasindu Patitanam pavane bhavishnu abhyo namo